Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna show you the evolution of radar detectors and radar detector detectors in the cat and mouse game going back and forth when they're each trying to detect the other. Uh, so to start us off, I'm actually gonna start uh, with this guy. This is some cheap, no-name radar detector. It's like 10 bucks or something. Uh, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna power this guy on and we're gonna go ahead and power on our VG2. Uh, this is one of the original radar detector detectors. It's a really old one at this point. Uh, almost nobody uses it anymore. However, it is able to detect some of the older and or poorly designed radar detectors that are out on the market. So let's go ahead and power on this guy and ignore his kind of goofy startup process. You'll notice as soon as we power him on here, boom, the VG2 starts going crazy, right? And the VG2 is also going to trigger this guy into like false alert to KA. But uh, if we go ahead and turn off this radar detector, you'll notice the VG2 is going to go ahead and stop alerting instantly, right? Now, so that was how things work originally. Then radar detectors decided to change things up and make themselves immune from being detected by the VG2. So what we're going to go ahead and do next is power on the Valentine 1. So this guy's gonna take a couple seconds here to boot up, but you'll notice that even once it is up and running, the VG2 is gonna go ahead and stay silent the whole time. So there we go. V1 is up and running, it's scanning for police radar, and the VG2, no alert, even though it's a foot away from the radar detector. So this is actually where most things stand nowadays, where most radar detectors are actually immune from being detected by the VG2. However, the VG2 is not the only radar detector that's out on the market these days. The newest one is the Spectra Elite. Uh, this guy, there's actually been several generations of it. You've had the original Spectra 1, then Spectra 2, 3, 4, and now the current one, the latest and greatest, is the Spectra Elite. We'll go ahead and power this guy on. It takes a couple seconds here. Self-test process, then it stops or finishes up, and then boom, we are up and running. So as you can see here, the Spectra is going off full tilt to the V1 that's right here next to it. If we go ahead and turn off the V1, boom, you'll notice the Spectra stops alerting instantly. Now, what happens if we go ahead and start the V1 back up again? You'll notice there was a little blip initially. The V1 is gonna go ahead and start up. It's going through its own self-test process, and then as soon as it starts up and it's uh, ready to start scanning for police radar, bam, there's a Spectra alerting full tilt again. So this is where most detectors are nowadays. However, there are some detectors which are completely immune to being detected even by the Spectra Elite. So to show you that, we're gonna go ahead and boot up this guy. This is the Escort Redline. We'll fire up the Redline. And the Redline is up and running now. And you'll notice even though it's, what, an inch away from the Spectra, we get no alert here from the Spectra at all. This thing is dead silent, no alert, nothing is going on. If we wanted to, we could even, uh, I'll fire up a radar gun here real quick, and you'll notice the red line is able to detect radar, no problem, and the Spectra, no alert whatsoever. If we go ahead and turn this guy off real quick, fire up the V1, you'll notice that, on the other hand, will go ahead and trigger the Spectra. And there we go. Cool. So one of the things that I'm really curious about is actually seeing with, you know, all the current radar detectors that are out on the market, exactly how detectable are they from the Spectra? You know, if you're driving towards the Spectra from the front, or what about if you're maybe following the police officer from behind? You know, this guy is able to rotate backwards and face the other way. Can he pick you up that way? So I'm actually really curious to see, you know, not just which ones are completely undetectable, but how undetectable or how detectable are the ones that are detectable. There's also some radar detectors that are almost undetectable, but not completely. So I'm really curious to see okay, is it good enough in practice? What is the Spectra able to do with the almost completely undetectable radar detectors? So over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of testing with this guy. I'll do some videos, of course, with this one as well so we can compare, but this is the primary one. I've been looking forward to test with this guy for years and years and years, and now that I've got one on hand, I'm super excited. I've got a bunch of radar detectors on hand, so over the next couple weeks or so, I'll be doing a lot of testing. You'll find all the videos here on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I'm going to be uh, sharing with you guys some tests of this guy and also showing you guys uh, how to use this guy in practice and how the police officers are able to actually locate radar detector users once this guy starts going off. So awesome. Uh, let me guys know if you have any questions or if there's any tests in particular that you would like to see while I have the Spectra on hand. Uh, other than that, happy driving. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.